Kislev, our motherland, is dying. A dark winter devours our fairer seasons. It has been custom for our god, Ursan, the great bear, to break each winter with his roar. Yet, for seven long years, he has fallen into silence. And so the ice thickens. Our prayers go unanswered. The people suffer. The Queen has sent me to investigate, to lead an expedition in search of Orson. I am to make contact with our northernmost outpost, Dervingar. It was there, on the edge of the Chaos Wastes. Our god's voice was last heard. Let their courage be our courage. Our journey has been long and perilous. The dead outnumber the living. We are lost. We are alone. Your orders, Prince Yuri. Fuel for the fires. Extra rations for the wounded. Sir, this expedition has failed. We must turn south, head back to Kislev. But we've come so far. We push north, find Dervingard. It's madness! We cannot survive wandering the Chaos Wastes like beggars! Yuri. Brother, we must not abandon our duty. The people of Kislev depend on us. You'll have my decision by dawn. Ursan, each day I pray, but you do not answer. This is our darkest night. Can you not see Kislev suffering? Help us! Show me a sign! Answer me! And Kislev is lost. Son of Kislev. I answer in my time of need. Ursan! I wake in darkness, bound in shadow. Guide me! I can save you! I am weak, so you alone shall hear my voice. I will lead you to Dervingard, your first step to finding me. Follow my... We move north. Yuri, what are your orders? Push north. Find shelter. We should be cautious. Darkness covers this land. The influence of chaos. The further north we travel, the stronger it becomes. Listening. Yuri! Up ahead! Some kind of shelter! Send word, Garrick. We rest there. Follow me, uncles. You have found respite. Together, we can overcome the trials ahead. Our journey has just begun. We searched for our kin fleeing south. We found them traveling the hidden trails to avoid open ground. Some had left Irvingard. They said the stronghold had fallen, but its commander, the boyer Slavin Kearns, had abandoned his post. Yet others fled from a smaller fort they called the Beacon. They spoke of a tribal chief who thirsted for bloodshed. Skolden, the wolf of Dervingard. We 
We fight at the beacon. Save who we can. I see the beacon. The fort is under attack. The enemy carry the flag of the wolf. It must be scolded. The beacon is under attack. Kislevites loyal to the motherland are within. Our army is small, but we can sway the battle if we are as wise as Ursan. We approach from the south, while Skolden's northmen assault the barricades. Their backs are to us. We should take advantage. The journey has been long, but we are ready. Fellow Ungolds, we are of Kislev. Show these cowardly dogs what that means! They hunger for blood. Let them taste cold steel. So, the wolf reveals himself. Cannons fire upon the defenders. When the barrage is over, these warriors will attack. Act swiftly. Yuri, the defenders need our help. We must reach them. What's that? There, in the trees. An army. Those are Kislev colors. They're allies. We must advance and combine our strength. Our allies fire down upon Skolden's army. His forces scatter. The allies are threatened from the rear. Up close, their bows are no match for swords and spears. The wolf's main pack advance on the beacon. Cannons rain death. They must be destroyed. The Allies join our forces. We'll need the reach of their bows. Kinsmen hear you roar! Fill them with Ursun's courage! Ursun's story! Your war cry inspires your soldiers. See how their spirit is renewed. Beacon is safe. Many lives have been spared. The survivors look to me for leadership. I will need them, for the wolf still lurks in the shadows. The wolf charges towards us! Quick, brother! Make ready for attack! Our only option is to fight! The wolf is cunning. He waited knowing we would come this way. Now he means to face us in open battle with renewed strength. We deploy on the high ground and make him come to us. The wolf routes from the battlefield. He takes the remnants of his tattered force and flees north into the wilderness. The cur runs, yelping for his dark gods. He fears your strength, and returns to Dervingard. Dervingard was built to defy the Dark Powers, and prevent another great war against Chaos. But the Stronghold has fallen into ruin, blackened by those that defile its halls. It has become the den of the wolf. As the last enemy drew their final breath, a single ray of sunlight broke through the grayest of clouds. 
Dervingard was free. The stronghold we had searched for, longed for, was ours. But I could not rejoice. I felt only the loss of those who had given their lives. At least the wolf was slain. Yet, even in death, his hand reached towards his tainted sword, Wolfsbane. Lursan compelled me to take it. A man of faith can withstand its evil and harness its power. Leave the sword. The weapon is cursed. The blade is too rare to be cast aside. You hold sin in your hand. I hold strength in my hand. Nothing more. Zoria the Frostmaiden recounted the fall of Dervingard. The commander Slavin Kearns fell into madness. Painted by the Dark Gods, his iron will tempered into an endless want for power. The Boyar abandoned the stronghold. Taking all provisions, he left for the far reaches of the Chaos Wastes. Any who opposed him were hung from the walls. Those that remained suffered at the hands of the savage Northmen. I found Kearns' journal hidden in his quarters. His words are evidence of heresy. Orson's judgment will be swift. If I find him, I will kill him. We leave Dervingard at first light. Leave? We gave our word to keep Dervingard safe. Do not confide. confides in me. We must journey through the Chaos Wastes and find the Lucent Maze. The next step to save Ursa. Ursa growls low in my ear. He tells me knowledge. Forbidden by the Great Orthodoxy. I now know the names of the Dark Gods and their demonic servants. This land warps under the influence of Zinch. The Changer of Ways, the Chaos God of Magic, and the Architect of Fate. The demons that serve Zinch are spellcasters and creatures of arcane fire. By campfire light, I read the journal. Why did Kearns abandon his duty? Before he left Dervingard, he made forays into the Chaos Wastes. He fought enemies and even gained the allegiance of tribes. He called such fates the Trials. They allowed him to navigate these hostile lands. If I am to survive here, I must perform these Trials. The journal tells of great rewards, if I do. We came upon ruins. A village of hide tents dominated by a totem of a white crow. They belonged to Northmen, enemies of Kislev who worshipped Sinch. On the ground, smeared in blood, was the emblem of the traitor Slavin Kearns. His army had slaughtered the tribe. No mercy was given, but I felt no pity. In these unforgiving lands, would the Northmen have treated us any different? The knowledge to reach Ursan lies hidden in the Lucent Maze. The servants of Sinch defend it, but it's not them I fear. Mortals that enter the labyrinth rarely emerge with their minds intact. I pray Ursan protects me. Your son is lost, but there is a way to find him within the maze. Strike down the demons which guard its profane walls! We 
With Cinch's forces scattered, I can walk willingly into the Lucent Maze. The knowledge within can lead us to the Howling Citadel. How long did I wander? Hours? Days? Yet finally, I reached the heart of the maze. Dark runes appeared before my eyes, but the journal revealed their secrets. A way for mortals to span the screaming chasm and reach the Howling Citadel. I must go to the land of the Blood God. Inscribed upon his brazen altar are the words to summon the Bridge Maker, the one who thirsts for more than blood. When I emerged from the maze, my army was waiting. But they did not cheer, offering just cold, hard stares and a stink of ingratitude. Word has spread. The tribes hear of my exploits. The Kislevite who subjugates demons and emerges from Cinch's labyrinth. Where before they would have ridden out to crush us, now they send an envoy and some piffling tribute to try and buy my allegiance. Garrick urges caution, as usual, but I could turn this to my advantage. Dominate these lands, not just with war, but with words. Through such base diplomacy, I can further my quest to find Orson. All I need do is accept their gift. Brother, please, do not take us down this path. It is too late. We find Orson, no matter the cost. While Corrin cares not from whom the blood flows, the demonic guardians of the brazen altar want it to be ours. Hungry for war, they will come at us directly. This knowledge must inform my strategy. I need... Ursa needs that altar! But it is defended by one of the Blood God's wretched pets. You will fight, and some may die, for the Blood God demands blood, and we shall gladly give it. All that matters is reaching the shrine. If my soldiers conspire and whisper doubts, I descend and approach the brazen altar alone. You have defiled Korn's altar. The name of the Bridgemaker is yours to claim. Summon him at the Screaming Chasm. I approached the brazen altar and quenched my sword in the blood. As I withdrew it, dark runes glowed upon the blade. It was a name. One to speak at the Screaming Chasm. One to summon the Bridgemaker. A toll would be required, and my faith tested. Whatever trial awaited, I was ready. You want my attention? How can Ursun condone such heresy? Those that haven't tasted power fear it. Do not worry, little brother. Ursun guides us still. Its name. The 
skies rained with blood as a greater demon of Korn emerged from the screaming chasm. Great wings carried it over the edge, and the ground shook as the bloodthirster landed beside me. Skulls dropped from the sky. Each one screamed in agony as they fell into the chasm, forming a bridge. My brother approached. Loyal Garrick. He trusted me when others would not. Protected me when others could not. He feared the demon. Brother's lifeless body fell to the ground. The bloodthirster roared as he threw Garrick's screaming skull onto the bridge. I crossed the chasm, the demon beside me. My army wavered, yet followed, fearing my wrath. Once a boyar of Dervingard, now a warlord of chaos. Marshals and alliance of tribes dedicated to the dark powers. They will stop at nothing to prevent me from taking the howling citadel. The chaos forces surround us. I must fight. Traitor squanders his power. He takes the role of petty warlord, bartering with marauder scum. I have a greater demon at my side. I will show them all how to wield true power. Howling Citadel was mine. Much had been sacrificed. I feel no remorse, only power. Through this portal lies my god. I am ready. from the shadow. I am the shadow. Velikor, where is Orson? Ah, yes, the god who abandoned Kislev. Lies. He led me here. My voice led you here. I spoke as Orson, answered when he would not. What deception is this? Your fate has been guided by my hand. Scalden, Kurtz, your brother, placed in your way by me. Stones to sharpen you. Why? Because gods are selfish. They will betray you as they betrayed me. I have freed you from their burden. What I did, I did for Ursan. You did it for yourself. Took what your heart desired. Look. How you've reveled in your dark baptism. Where is he? Let me show you what you hold so dear. Tell me, what do you see? Weakness. A beast unworthy of my faith. Of the blood spilt in his name. The reason Kislev suffers. Yuri, son of Kislev. Belakor uses you for his own gain. 
End this misery. Free me. You can be greater than Urson. Save his love. Take his power. Take his place. Not die here. Gods of chaos, I lie here broken, frail by my god, cast out by Belakor. I have tasted but a morsel of your power. Look at what I have achieved! Let me feast upon it. Kislev will be mine, and together. We will serve you. Bestow me with your terrible 